Sticky columns are a great, great thing, and I do recommend using them, especially if you have like uh, an icon list or headers that have menu anchors. Sorry, you got menu anchors on your page, so if I click header two, it goes down to the menu anchor. But the problem is, is the, the controller, the navigator for all of that is now out of sight, and I've got to scroll all the way back to the top if I want to go to header three or, you know, etc. header one and all of that. Now, to keep that in place on the right-hand side or the left-hand side or anywhere you want on your website, you need to use an inner section. Now, when it comes to Flexbox containers, you wouldn't need to do this methodology, but until the final version of that is out, this is a great, great solution to use. So what would you do? Well, you don't need to change anything where you have the items, where you don't mind where there's a bit of scroll. Leave them as they are. But wherever your controller sits for what you will use, or let me just change my wording. It might not even be a menu anchor. It might just be that you have some content on the right-hand side or the left-hand side, and no matter how much you scroll up and down, you want it to stay in place. Okay, so I'm referring to menu anchors, but you could be using this for basically anything in your website. The, slim, the solution is simple. You get an inner section and drop that into the column that you want to remain sticky. So we dropped an inner section. I'm now going to get rid of the second column, so I've only got one column in there, and I'm going to pick up my items that I want to remain sticky and drop it into the inner section. Now, obviously, it goes without saying you would then start to style it accordingly to get it to be positioned how you want, your margin, your padding, all of that. You know how to do that. That is simple to do. But here's the trick. You click on the inner section. You go to the advanced tab, okay? You go to motion effect and you will say make this be sticky to the top. Now as soon as you do that, the words stay in column or the feature stay in column appears. You won't get that on a normal section or a column, which is why you've got to drop in the inner section. And I know we don't like to use too many inner sections or hardly any at all. But for where you want a sticky column, this is what you do. Remember, with the Flexbot container, you would not have to do this, okay, with another inner section. So there we go. We're going to put stay in column. And I'm now going to update that. And if I was to now click on header three, look at that. The navigator or the controller is still in place. Header one, header two. I mean, look, there is a bit of movement because I haven't done my margins and paddings along the top. So ignore that, okay? But look, it stays in place. So if you have now, say, um, images or adverts in column one, two, or three, wherever you want. And you had some other items in another column. As you scroll down, you could read a blog post, but the images stay in place. Maybe you've got a really big image, you know, like of someone doing something, and you want that to always be in the focus. Maybe you're advertising a product, and it says buy now, and you want that to remain in the visual eye line. Visual eye line? Eyesight, whatever. Okay, you want it to remain as you go up and down. So this is how you do it, in a section, right, sticky top, and then you would obviously click, stay in column. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow, and I'll see you. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, with the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat. Put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag.